Hello and welcome, I am Zinder, and this is episode 9 of my Minecraft Let's Play, and uh, I don't really have anything planned for today, so I don't, oh, I don't exactly uh, know what I'm doing, maybe I'll go explore a cave, I really don't want to branch mine, but I really, really want redstone, because I love redstone, but who knows, maybe I should cook some of this food I have in my inventory with the furnaces that are apparently right here. So, I will get these cooking. What am I doing? I know not all of those are going to cook, but what are you going to do? Okay, I changed my mind. I know exactly what I'm going to do, and I am going to be digging out the ground here shortly, and it's going to be extremely boring and filled with tons and tons of me digging but yeah I officially decided that I have to do this what am I going to do you're asking I'm going to make a storage area because I need somewhere to store stuff in a much very a much better more organized manner than I'm currently in so, I'm going to build a storage area. And apparently not have any torches on me. Um... Okay. The lack of organization is already apparent. Maybe. You're going to tell me if it's actually apparent. Or maybe not. I, I think it's quite obvious at this point. I probably have duplicates and different things and this and that. And I don't need dirt. And a bunch of iron that needs cooked. And I just put everything in here. And it looks like my bacon's done cooking. Is that on and off? Okay. Yeah, and I need all kinds of random organization as well because everything is just completely unmarked and it's just bad. It's just bad. It's the only words I can provide for this. It's just bad. But, uh... That's what I plan to fix. It being just bad. I think... When I do this, I'm gonna end up going this way. It's pretty sure... See? I'm sitting here flicking this lever. Sending anything coming in. Okay, yeah, if I dig down, I should be able to easily go that way, just so long as I don't go that way. So I'm going to build the stairs starting here. And I like to make my areas three high, though I think I want to add an extra buffer in here as well, so I'm going to end up going down one more. And then this should be where I want to be. I don't know where the... Oh. I'm going to run out of room if I don't do something. That's feeling a little cramped. Oops. That's better. But now I've already got to place one of my limited torches. And I'm just going to basically expand this now in this direction, some number of blocks wide. Highly descriptive, I know. Whoops. I'm used to having my shovel on two, but I haven't placed it there, so I keep screwing up. Actually should have left that there, just left the doorway. Oh well. Not concerned. Going to be a lot of digging, a lot of boring, tedious work. But I really don't want to cut things out, so I'm just going to keep on going with this. And this episode may end up being gratuitously long because I'm not even going to pay attention to the clock. But you know what? I don't even think it matters anymore. There's not really any. There's no limit saying I can't upload, you know, it past any given number. It's mostly just based on file size, I think. And, well, that 38-minute episode was only just over a gig, so... 
I'm not overly concerned about size. I'm not overly concerned about time. The the only times lost at any given, well, time is the uh, the conversion because it takes longer than anything to do. A 38 minute episode like the last one. Yeah, it took me almost two hours to convert it. But oh well, what of it? I actually just sit and watch videos on YouTube while it's converting. And then while it's uploading, I sit and I watch videos on YouTube. Because, yeah, why not? And this is going to irritate me if I don't fix it. And then I'll probably end up realizing something seriously wrong. And I have to adjust everything. And everything is just going to be off and it's going to be terrible. And I thought I knew what I was doing, but I don't, I think. Maybe I don't think. Maybe I'm not thinking. It's probably the problem. But, uh, I mean, I am thinking, but I'm not thinking. I'm thinking about not thinking. Yeah, how about that one? Thinking about not thinking. Um, I think I should probably get this all set up so I know what I want to do here. Too wide. There, there, there. Okay. Whoops. That may look completely random, but I know exactly what I'm doing. But I hate cobblestone. Like, it, it looks okay on this texture pack, but I still hate it. Um, but I'm going to remedy that problem using a gratuitous amount of my coal. I've used that word too much. I'm going to stop saying that word now. I'm going to just get some things cooking. Put more furnaces. There's no reason to not place right there. Other than the fact that it looks funny. I'm being very specific with the amount of coal I put in here. I hope no one finds that to be a problem. I'm just gonna cook me up some smooth stone, turn it to bricks, and cook a pork chop. You know, I'm just gonna eat my zombie meat. I'm not overly concerned. I don't plan to be attacked anytime soon. And I'm not even going to waste a piece of zombie meat. How's that for conserving my, uh, my food? Now, I'm not sure how I want to go about this. I normally have one on each of those, right, like that. And there's going to be a lot of stone brick involved in this entire process, because... I normally go overboard with it, especially in here. This is going to be my storage area. It's going to be completely sorted, and I think I stole the idea from somebody else, like the general underlying idea, but I personally hate the idea of using signs to try and label stuff, partly because a sign doesn't line up properly. At least I don't think so. It doesn't line up right to my liking. So it's the blocks in floor method. That is the worst way of describing it, but that's what I'm going to call it. The blocks in floor method. And there's certain things that are a pain to figure out blocks to use for. You know, I don't know how far I need this to go. I'm going to need a cobblestone chest for sure. I'll just... There. That'll be the cobblestone chest. And that's pretty much just how this entire thing works out. You just basically do that. And I know digging is boring and I'm talking. And if people decide they don't like it, well, I'll just be silent, dig out in the future, and speed it up. Just so you don't have to see a ton of digging with a lack of eventful stuff. But I don't want to cut anything out. Speeding up, I can do. Cutting out, I do not want. 
And this entire room is going to be a lot bigger than I intended, but hopefully that ends up being a good thing. Because... Uh, I normally keep my workbench and furnaces down here too in the end, and this will give me more room to do that. Because I normally put them at the very end of it. Sometimes I put one at the beginning just so I don't have to walk the whole way to the end of it. But, uh... Considering I'm digging... I'm essentially digging into the side of the, uh, the little hill here now. I don't have to worry about hitting the surface, but... I still very well could hit a cave doing this. And this is kind of like strip mining, but it's not strip mining. I'm clearing out an area. Because I want to make use of it, and I like being underground for some reason. But, uh... Yeah. Um, one there, there, there. It's probably all the space I need for the moment. The question is, how many of those bricks have cooked up? 22 stone, 22 stone, 21 stone. Now it's 22 stone. Whoops. Oh, it's all just, just all buggered up now. That's better. And now I have 64 bricks. I don't know how far this is going to get me, but it's 64 bricks. That took me, what, eight? means all subsequent ones will take, uh, five. These will just be linked to the previous one. Whoops. And then... I don't like having this back here. So there's gonna be four blocks lost per storage thing. It, yes, I realize they kind of look like, you know, a fireplace, but they're not. I'm going to need a bunch of wood for chests. Just don't know what I'm going to put over here. I don't like the sound of that. Oh. Hey, Mr. Pig. Guess what? Give me your bacon. Yes. I heard pistons firing. Hopefully you did too. Um, last time, uh, I once again accidentally have this running through my surround sound, but the last time I heard it, my, uh, I accidentally did this, it didn't sound like the video picked up any kind of an echo at all, for one, and the sound came through perfectly because it was being recorded as a Windows sound, so I'm just gonna not going to mess with it. When I go through and review the video, make sure it's working like I do. Because I've seen a lot of notorious black screens on other people's Let's Plays. And I'm trying to avoid those at all costs. But, yeah, that's... Basically, I go through, make sure the entire video is perfectly fine. There's no black screens or anything. And check the audio. And then I... That, that's after the conversion process. If there's a black screen on the recording, well, that that's pretty much just lost. There's no way I can undo that. Um, I need more stone. Oh. Well, hi there, Mr. Zombie. How you doing? How you doing? And I'm not going to have anywhere near enough half slabs for this. Yes, I plan to use half slabs. The only problem is, is I, the reason why I use half slabs is I like how they look. They look different than, you know, a standard stone block, but I normally run them the whole way through the middle. Of course, I could put something else here. 
I'm gonna put it. I'm just gonna do it the one I normally do then. Figure out what I'm gonna put in the middle here. I don't want to use the mossy because I'm actually gonna have a mossy spot in here because it's going to be designate mob drops. So I, I've tried other things in the past, and that is the only legitimately obtainable item that I think is best suited for mob drops. So. That's what I plan to use. Get this set up. I'm definitely going to need the uh, cobble chest here soon. But I mean, out of all those half slabs I already made, I mean, I already cut through a good number of them because I use. Yeah, that many. But I mean, in the end, it starts looking pretty good. I'm not sure what I'm going to quite do through there. Hmm. I don't know if there's a desert nearby. Uh, I'm actually going to put this on hold and check that. Okay, I'm going to put this on hold right after I make at least a double chest for mossy. Not mossy, regular cobblestone. All that talking about mossy got my brain confused. And this thing says it's a cover. Now... In order to conserve space, a lot of what I do is, like, the stone bricks. Like, I normally have two chests here. What I'll do is I'll start filling up the bottom one with the actual item, and then if I have anything left over, like stone bricks, regular stone, stone steps, I would put them in the top chest. But because I didn't make a top chest yet, I'm just going to shove these things down here in the bottom corner of here. And... I'll worry about organizing some of the more of this stuff later. I want to find a desert. Because I want some cactus. Most people use cactuses for defense. I have another plan. And this episode is going to be long. But I don't care. Okay, I've got food. What happened to my zombie meat? There it is. I should take some torches with me. Ah! Just want to eat the food. Fine. Be that way. See if I care. Mm, eight. Yeah. I know I stopped talking, but there's, there's not really a whole lot to talk about with what I was doing there. Oop. Free zombie meat. Do want. Um. Uh, I think. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think there's a desert nearby. There might have been one on the other side of the spawn. Now that I think about it. But that is a lot of pigs. Holy crap. But um I'm gonna collect some little bits of wood. Ooh, eggs. Collect enough eggs, I don't actually need chickens to lure over. I can just make an egg farm and by using eggs. I'm gonna I wanted to get that tree. But I got distracted by eggs. Now I'm not gonna get the tree. Really hoping I can find a desert biome. And there's a cave. I'm gonna not get sidetracked and enter the cave. As much as I want to. Thing is, it's part way up the side of a hill, so I normally... Th those normally just end anyhow. So I don't really want to go exploring that at the moment. Wow! What is with the ocean? Okay. I might have to go to a plan B of some kind. Because this just... Ooh, wait. I see sand. I see sand. But it may be beaches. He recently added the beaches back in. Um, but that looks like a lot of sand. A lot. Speaking of sand. I'm going to need some glass. Why don't I dig up some of that too? 
here I am getting sidetracked because I'm standing on sand. But my plan is I'm going to come rolling up here to this tree. Despite how much this seems like a bad idea to me. Mostly because I'm trying to climb a mountain. But, oh, oh, come on now. How many pieces did I get? Four. I'm going to place a random workbench out in the middle of nowhere. Why am I doing this, you ask? Well, I'm sure some of you, anybody really knows, might have already guessed this. Or is probably screaming at me, why don't you make a boat? And I am. There's so much water around here that I'm just going to make a boat. And find out that that was apparently a beach. Son of a beach. Yes, I went there. I said that. I've never realized just how deep water is. That has to be an ocean biome. That's just completely insane. Where am I going? Which direction? Where's the sun? Okay, so I'm going north? North. It's definitely north. I swear I know my cardinal directions. And I'm just... Really, really would like a desert, please. Please, desert, please. Please, desert. I can has desert, please? No? I'm gonna go until I find a desert, because I refuse to continue that storage thing until I get some frickin' cactus. And yes, I, I'm aware I could have just done a regular swear word there, but I felt like censoring myself using an alternate word. But, uh, get a f go and till it, what the, oh, I want a desert, not a swamp, you stupid game. Shall I take that back? Actually, I don't think I have my shears, do I? Nope, no shears. But, I now know where there's a swamp, so I can get some vines in uh, 1.2 when it comes out. I don't know when it's going to be coming out, but vines will be climbable when against a solid surface. Um, so that'll be nice and handy. It's kind of like an alternate form of ladder, but slightly more not laddery, I guess. Oh crap! Watch out for the lily pads, they will break my boat. Okay, this is just one gigantic, massive ocean. And I'm just going to head... Ooh, where am I? Stupid boat. L the one good thing is I'm out in the ocean, which means that mobs aren't going to be spawning on my head. The bad thing is, is I'm out in the middle of the ocean with very few landmarks anymore. The only thing I have for direction is the way the sun's going. And if I'm right, this should lead me right back to spawn. And yes, I could have made a compass. But I didn't make a compass. And it's too late to make a compass. So... I'm trying to look down for little lights in the uh, the water. Because if there's light, there's probably an abandoned mine shaft. And abandoned mine shaft means I could potentially get some melon seeds. But... I've gone really far without seeing land, so I'm just going to cut back this direction. I should hopefully run right into spawn, or somewhere near it. This ocean biome is very, very annoying. Oh, oh. the edges of the, uh, the biome are getting higher. So either I'm going to hit some islands, or... I'm getting closer to land, but it looks like it's just random land formations. 
I have a feeling I'm going to end up back home before I find an ocean biome before this episode's over. But, there's not a whole lot I can do. I swear there was an ocean, or not ocean, but a desert biome over near spawn. So I thought it had a good diversity of things that I needed, but I very well could have been wrong. But I'm pretty sure Spawn is right over there. Okay, I'm sick of this boat. Break! Don't come after me just yet, creepers. That looks... Is that supposed to be a sand creeper? That's pretty crazy looking. Okay, it looks like I might be just stranded in the middle of an ocean biome. I'm essentially on one gigantic island. Th that's starting to be what it's looking like. I'm going to have to end up going back through the snow biome. Go away, creeper. I said go away. Oh, crap. Yes. Three birds with one creeper. Actually, maybe the skeleton didn't die. But he's not following me, and that's all that matters. Mm. Mm. I'm definitely in the middle of an ocean biome. I don't know whether this is an island or just a random separate biome, but I'm apparently surrounded by ocean biomes on all sides, as well as creepers. Creepers, creepers, and more creepers. Oh no! I'm okay! Oh, oh, oh god. String! Oh, leave me alone, skeleton. Give me string. Okay, I'm going to eat some real food so I can actually regenerate health here. I see squid. As much as I want to go kill them, I need to avoid it for this very second. And... Oh, yes! Houston, we have Desert Biome. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think my house is just right over there. I made that long journey across the water in a boat, around mountains, back through spawn, just to have had to go back the other way. In fact, that's, that's not my sword. Yeah, I was at taking on three zombies at once at point blank range. And not getting hit. But, uh... Oh. Okay. You know what? You can just go play with him. I've got bigger fish to fry. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Oh, crap. I heard him hissing at me. I heard it. And I made efforts to avoid... So I guess as long as you're moving, a creeper will never actually just kill you. And probably gonna want to make a cactus farm, which that'll be easy enough. Ow, prick! Can't you see I'm busy I'm trying to record here? And you're messing everything up for me. But uh, I am apparently gaining a good amount of experience stupid spider. And if I ever get really, really hungry, there's enough water around me that I could easily just go fishing. Skeletons. The hardest mob to kill with a sword on open desert. I heard you. I heard you trying to sneak up on me. I want cactus. Oh, 
Oh my god, they're just everywhere. They're everywhere. Where's the moon? Oh god, we're only halfway through the night. just absolute insanity. I need to check and see if I brought some additional swords with me, because if I didn't, I'm going to be in some serious trouble. Oh, that's bad. How many cactus do I have? Not as many as I wanted. And yes, I'm aware I asked how many cactuses I had as I opened my inventory, and answered it after I had already closed it. But... I was more concerned about trying to prevent myself from getting ambushed. Which, I'm still being ambushed anyhow, obviously. Oh! Oh god. No, 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 no! Oh, crap! Get away! That was almost very bad. It was almost very, very bad. Whew. Oh, I shouldn't be wasting my sword beating on cactuses. You know, one thing I've always found really funny, the fact that you break down a cactus, you can break down a cactus with your fist and hold it in your inventory, but if you touch it when it's placed, it hurts you. Now, I realize it's a game and things don't have to make sense, but I, I've always just found that kind of funny. What? what? Is, that's, that's not a safe spot. That's an oasis. Apparently, I missed a cactus. Probably because it was surrounded by creepers. I'm probably going to want to make a cactus farm out of these before I actually do anything. I don't want to just stop in the middle of the desert, in the middle of the night, surrounded by mobs, with an almost broken sword, and just make you guys go, oh, that's lame. Of course, though, might be a good cliffhanger, stopping in the middle of the desert while being chased by creepers. But, the last time I stopped a video while being followed by a mob, when I logged back in, it was gone. So... As to avoid subjecting you to lack of me being stalked again. You know, I have an idea for these guys. They need to keep following me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. I think I heard him hissing. Where's the other one? They're both dead. Oh, crap. Okay, so much for my idea. I got way too ambushed by mobs to continue with that. But I wanted to lure, ooh, lure the creeper into the lava. Kind of like I'm going to do with Mr. Spider here. You're dead, Spider. That's what you get. The sad part is I could probably very easily just kill them with my other iron tools. What? Oh, hi there. Jump in the ravine, please. Thank you. You know, I thought I knew where I was, but then I realized I didn't. And I must have gotten food poisoning from that last zombie flesh, because I'm not... I, I should be down... Ooh. Getting distracted at its finest. And this video is going to be very long. And I really don't care. If anybody actually does care, 
Well, I I'm probably going to say it's probably a bad idea to just watch my videos on low time in the future then, because I think I'm just going to keep them longer. Mostly because of the fact that playing for 15 minutes, it goes by really fast, and in order to actually feel like I'm accomplishing something in a day, I would have to upload more than one episode. And, frankly, it it's just much simpler. Oh, I have no idea where I am. Should be going west, I think. Actually. Wow. Wow. I said I have no idea where I am. And then walk over a hill. And there's my house. Just close that door there. Uh, what do I got here? Got some more iron. That's not the right chest for iron. Got some that needs smelted. Iron ore! You know, uh, I think... What am I doing? Thought I was doing something. Yep. I thought I was, but I'm not doing something. And I'm going to stop this video here. And we will continue on with making the cactus farm and working on the storage chest a little bit more in the next episode. This is the end of episode 9, and we'll see you in the next one.